Hi, and welcome to the walkthrough of the Crowdsourcing Clinic website. Here I'll be showing you how you can make the best of the website and get access to all of our resources. So right off the bat, if you scroll down, we have some of the previous challenges that SESH has conducted um, that are all registered under the Crowdsourcing Clinic network, which is basically a network of crowdsourcing challenges and people and it's open access so everyone has access to other people's materials and you can feel free to contact anyone for help or questions. We've also included information about why you can use crowdsourcing, which takes you to a link to a lot of case studies and how you can join the movement today, which takes you to the registration form and shows you how you can start your own challenge. But first of all, it's important to understand what exactly crowdsourcing is. Um, Crowdsourcing is just a method that taps into the potential of a group of people and gathering their ideas and resources in comparison to um, sort of an individualistic approach. And it's been proven to have um, a lot of amazing effects, as you'll see in the next page. But this whole, this whole page has been taken from the TDR um, Practical Guide to Crowdsourcing, which is an amazing resource. Um, that has been linked over here. So if you click on the impact tab, it takes you to a list of case studies that show you what exactly crowdsourcing could do to your organization or um, the power of crowdsourcing. So all of these statistics are from studies that have been um, conducted based off of ideas that have been gathered from crowdsourcing um, or crowdsourcing challenges themselves. Um, so as you can see, there are a lot of amazing things that you can do with the power of crowdsourcing. Finally, if you have your own project idea or if you want access to other people's projects um, on this global open network, you can click here on the Get Started page and you can sign up with a couple easy steps. It's all free. Um, the intention behind this is that we're a nonprofit organization and we just wanted to, to share our knowledge and create an open network for everyone to collaborate and create their own challenges. So you can register your contest. Um, we'll get we'll get in contact with you right after that, and we'll communicate on um, the next steps and how we can best help you. So here are some of the free resources that you get once you sign up. Um, it ranges from access to our innovation hubs to um, planning with these this, with the Sesh team. And also all of our documents and resources from past challenges, um, and not to mention any other challenge that gets registered. So you can scroll down here and click on the register here button to register your. your so once you come over here, you can either sign up or log in to your account. Um, since I've already created an account, I will just log in um, with my organization. And as soon as you log in, it takes you to this one super large page with a lot of information. <laughs> um, so you can go to the About page. It tells you when you joined, your email, um, and most importantly, what challenges you've created. So we break down our challenges into three different categories. There's the early stage. Um, a mid-stage and a completed contest. So if you want to create um, a crowdsourcing contest and you're not sure if it's the right one, um, people would usually sign up under the early stage. Um, if you are if you started planning a contest or it's coming up in, um, I don't know, a couple weeks or months, then you would sign up under the mid-stage. And finally, if you've already completed a contest, um, then that would be signed up under the completed stage. So here I've just made a bunch of sample contests with um, these different stages. But as you can see, you can create new contests with this button over here. Um, and these are all the ones that I've created before. So for example, here is a completed contest um, that focuses on malaria and sexicidal resistance and um, how that could be innovated. And right here I've said that the goal of the project was that we hosted a challenge to raise ideas to combat um, insecticidal resistance and prevent this problem. So you can scroll down and it takes you to 
another part of the network, which is arguably one of the most important important parts, which is the search tool. So you can actually search for people and for different types of contests over here. So I can search for all completed contests um, that are innovation challenges and that are arts focused. But since we don't have any <laughs> Uh, that many challenges, I will reduce the search and just display all the concepts that are registered under the network. And as you can see, it pulls up all of these and um, for every contest, you can download all of their information um, that they have uploaded or you can also choose to contact the person that has organized the contest for any help or advice. Finally, there are also a lot of resources that the SESH team offers. Um, and the main way that you can contact us is if you scroll down, it takes you to a contact page where you can just send us a quick email and we are very fast to respond. So that is the crowdsourcing clinic and um, how you can make the most out of our resources. Thank you for watching.